Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be replacing the hood latches with some JL style more secure hood latches. Let's get started. As I'm sure you know, these JK hood latches with this just piece of flexible rubber are pretty annoying. We start going down the highway, anything really above 60 miles an hour, you get this going on with your hood. So today we've got a set of JL style hood latches we're going to put on here and hopefully fix that problem. You can pick you up a set on Amazon for I believe about $35 if you're interested in getting you a set. I'll have them linked down in the description. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and get started with the install. First step is going to be opening our hood. Now that we got our hood up, we'll start by removing the top catch part and then we'll remove the latch and install the new latch. So let me get you guys in here. We'll get started replacing these. All right, so we're going to start by removing the catch that's on the hood. What you're going to need for this is a 10 millimeter. I'm just going to loosen the two nuts here. And then we'll replace it with the new one. Now when we put the new one on, we're not going to tighten it all the way down. We're going to leave a little bit of room for adjustment. That way if it needs to be moved up or down a little bit, when we put our actual latch on, we can make those adjustments, then we'll tighten it all the way down. At least I think that's how it'll go. We'll see. Let's just start by taking this one off. Put the new one on fairly loosely. And go from there. That was easy enough to remove. Here's our new style. You want to make sure the rubber part of the catch is facing up towards the top of the hood whenever you put this in. We'll want our washers and nuts on the inside. And something I didn't grab yet, I'm going to take just a minute while we got that off. I'm going to grab some cleaner, clean the outside of the hood, then I'll install the new catch. Alright, I've now cleaned the outside. I'm going to ensure the top of the catch is uh, oriented properly. Okay, so the old ones do fit, the nut and the washers together. I prefer that, so I'm gonna reuse the old hardware. Alright, that install is easy as that. We'll tighten it down just a little bit. And we'll move on to the bottom. Alright, so now we're gonna replace the exterior part of the latch. I got the new one here, there's just a single stud that goes through. I'm going to see if we can reuse our old hardware again. Now there's not a lot of room to work here. This is a 14 millimeter. You could do maybe an open end wrench, but you just can't quite get a quarter inch drive socket and a ratchet in there. So what I'm going to do for this one, I have this small flex head ratchet. I'm going to start by feeding it up through the bottom. Grab the handle, pull it up. Now we should be able to loosen this nut in here. Alright, I'll be able to loosen the rest by hand. I'll remove this and be right back with you.
All right, now we're just going to clean this area before we install the new one. And our old hardware does fit, so we'll put our new latch on. It's got two locating tabs as well as the stud. Okay, so it looks like this is not quite lining up. We're going to have to drill these holes out just a little bit to make this work. So let's get a drill bit. We'll drill these holes out. All right, so as I said before, we're going to need to drill these holes out. I'm going to start with a quarter inch bit because uh, it's just slightly larger than the holes that are here. And I don't want to go too big if I don't have to. So we'll start with a quarter inch and move from there. All right, let's start with this quarter inch. Let's see if that's what's going to give us what we need to put this latch through now. Alright, we still need a little bit more. So we'll go the next size up, which is a 5 16 bit. See if now we have what we need to make this latch work. All right, that appears to be all lined up, so we're going to run this uh, nut down. Feed our ratchet back up through. Let's see how the hood closes and see how it looks. Alright, let's close the hood down and see how it looks. Alright, our hood looks like it's still in the same position, and this is very secure. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. It's just rinse and repeat, but for the opposite side of the vehicle. And then I'll bring you back in, show you a close-up of these once they're done. So there you have it. 
JL style hood latches on your Jeep JK. So I love this upgrade. This makes your hood nice and sturdy. It's solid now where it wasn't before. It had that flex and would give you that hood flutter at highway speeds. Now it's solid, secure. It's not going anywhere. Super easy to open. Just two fingers pop it open. Uh, the only thing you got to watch on this is these kind of like to fall back closed. The inside catches, if you can see this, they kind of like to fall back closed. So when your hood is up, you're getting ready to let it down. Just make sure these are out of the way. Hood will close. Locks right down. And this is so much more secure than the stock ones. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll link these down in the description if you want to pick you up a set. Um, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post some more Jeep mods. And thanks for watching.